everybody. Alicia Murrow here. I am the Senior Director of Professional Relations at Color Science by Day, but right now I'm coming at you representing GVAS Fall Summit 2020, and we are doing a countdown for everyone to get to know our fantastic faculty. And it is my pleasure to welcome one of our top faculty members with us, Kaylee Lindholm. Hi, Kaylee. How are you? Hi, Alicia. I'm great. And I'm so excited for GVAS and honored to be with you today. So thank you for the, for the brief interview. Well, you are so welcome. We're glad that you're taking a few minutes of your day to let everybody learn a little bit more about you and what you're going to share with us at the conference. Yay! The president, founder, um, amazing, talented business strategist extraordinaire at KLC Consultants. So tell me a little bit about, first of all, you know, why we're talking about you and the aesthetic industry, and then we'll get into your company for sure. But what, what's your story? You know, why, why are you, you here at Judas and what's led you to aesthetic? Ah, thanks. Well, um, I'm honored to be on faculty and I appreciate that um, compliment. That was way too superfluous. But um, so I've been in the industry for a long time. Um, kind of started out on the industry side, selling skincare. I sold lasers. I became a sales manager in the industry. Worked really the corporate angle and learned when I was working with practices that these amazing physicians who are so talented at their craft, they had a really tough time, you know, coming out of school, knowing exactly how to be the best at what they do, but having to actually run a business when I actually went to business school. So I can't even imagine having to all of a sudden learn how to, you know, become a surgeon or, you know, dermatologist. It'd be crazy. Um, and so I left corporate America about five years ago and started my company really with the goal of helping fill that gap uh, to help practices build their teams market their practices and really take some of the heavy load off of them running their businesses and day-to-day -day operations so that they can focus on their craft doing what they love and doing what they're especially great at well i love that part of your journey also i know is that you helped to run a practice i did <laughs> success for that practice so you're what i call a unicorn because you worked on all sides of the business and not only are you a unicorn i also say you got street cred because you have had the opportunity to be experiencing the day-to-day -day of all those different roles. So being able to blend that wisdom into providing amazing talent and resource for your clients, I think is really special that we don't all have. Um, I'm missing, you know, part of that three-legged stool myself, even though I've been around for a long time. So I just love that about you because you have the full perspective of a practice. Um, so tell me a little bit more about KLC Consulting. Yeah. Thank you. You don't give yourself enough credit, though, but um, I think we all have different, you know, areas of expertise and experience to bring to the table. And I couldn't agree with you more. The things that I learned in school about marketing are completely different than the things that I've learned by, you know, the school of life and the school of actual experience. Um, and so, you know, bringing that into what we do every day, um, I really consider myself to be a business strategist and growth CEO for uh, aesthetic practices. And I'm the founder, like you've already um, announced of KLC Consulting, where we bring that Fortune 500 leadership experience that I have to high growth aesthetic practices who are really looking to disrupt their markets in our industry. They want to differentiate, they want to stand out, they want to be really not part of the noise, but market themselves as somebody who is really special and they have something unique to offer to their patients. And we do that because we focus on developing a, a differentiated marketing strategy, um, a you know, go-to-market strategy, brand position, and then building teams who can help these practices really run like clockwork. Um, and so I have, um, I guess, just kind of going into how we do that, um, our Pop Aesthetic Leadership Academy, and that's a 12-month business incubator where we take practices through a year of learning how to ace all of these systems. And, you know, one of the core principles and something that, you know, I believe in my, my you know, philosophy that really underwrites and becomes the heartbeat of everything we do is that we believe in building teams and that great leaders can figure out how to build great businesses and, and ultimately will succeed. And really that's what I'm hoping to bring, um, you know, as an element to GVAS as, you know, faculty member. Well, I love that. And you said something that rang a bell for me when you talked about, you know, kind of being a disrupt disruptor in the market. 
And you recently wrote an incredible article. I would almost call it a manifesto yes. on the importance and power behind being a disruptor versus being disrupted and you know how you can take something that might have more of a negative association to it and really use it for empowerment and to embolden you and to push you forward. So I love that you mentioned disruptor. And I also love that you talked about building teams and I know that's a focus and we'll get into your talk a little bit more, but I have always subscribed to that. You know, you, your, your, your team is only as strong as its weakest link, right? You hear all these things, a cord of three strands cannot easily be broken. And it is in a practice, as you know, and, and many people attending GVAS that are business owners know, it's the highest overhead expense, right? Your payroll typically, right? And, but it tends to be the, the place where many practices sometimes focus the least amount of their time or their talents or their treasures, right? So I love that this is a kind of a direction that KLC and you are taking it. And I will share with everybody out there, I first got to meet Kaylee through attending one of her boot camps that was opened actually um, to her non-clients just so people could see a little bit of the wisdom of what she could bring and it was so valuable. And she kind of had me at hello and we have a fun personal story. I'm <laughs> but really, really, just really a different but simple way to approach your business that has immediate impact and, and long-term results. And I love that about you. So your talk at GVAS going into that is called, I'm gonna read it here so I don't get it wrong, identifying hiring A players, a strategic approach. And I love that. So tell me a little bit about what that session is going to be discussing, like a sneak peek. We don't want to give it all away, but just a little sneak peek. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, you know, it, it really, it's more, it go, goes to this talk for me and the, the philosophy behind building teams starts with something that you just mentioned about about employees being our biggest overhead cost. And, you know, really what I'm trying to emphasize through the course of this talk that I'll be giving is that we have to make a critical mindset shift around what employees mean to our business to view them as, as producers of wealth uh, versus as a, as a cost. And when we set up the systems and the structure appropriately and we, we use you know, certain strategies to identify where and how these employees will produce profit, then we can look at them as a treasure for our business. This, this is a, an investment that is going to make me money over again and again and again and again. And so I wanna talk in this um, presentation about how to find really people who are gonna be those A players on your team, who are gonna be passionate and ambitious and excited about your goals to really take, take on ownership of their role like it's their, their, their business so to speak, um, so that we can make that mindset shift and really see how employees can become valuable assets for our business. Well, that's exciting. And I know that everybody attending your sessions is going to walk away with some action items. Kaylee doesn't just say, here's what you should do. She tells you the what, the why, and the how. And I know that because, again, I've experienced it firsthand. So very excited for that. And I love that you're talking about you know, the, the talent, right, in your team. And I, I always used to say when I was doing more consulting that it's, it's not you want to recruit people, but you want to attract people, right? When you attract people, there's a desire for them to want to be a part of what you're doing. And I hear some of that in, in some of the things that you're sharing. So for those people um, that are going to be attending, you know, if you were to say, why is this important? We talked about, you talked a little bit about, you know, kind of the health help to build your team to help build the profitability the sustainability and the success of the practice is there any other reasons why it's really important to focus on on the things you're going to be sharing with us well i think i think number one hiring is really the most challenging part of building a business because we're de we're dealing with humans and you can't really systematize a human being you know and so we can't automate it um it really takes experience and it takes sometimes going through challenging uncomfortable things to find the right people and to set up um, an environment where we do facilitate you know that kind of culture and i think really if i'm an attendee at gvas and i'm thinking why should i attend kaylee's talk um i probably want to attend because things have shifted a little bit right this this year has thrown a little bit of a curveball and not to mention that really core motivations of employees really have changed over time 
Um, as we have now Generation Z entering the workforce, we're really relying on our millennials to kind of be the mainstay of our practices. And so, you know, I, I get feedback a lot that how do we really motivate and incentivize employees? I mean, finding them is one thing, but then how do we keep them happy and keep them coming back and continuing to want to grow and develop within their roles? And that's what I'm going to teach you. And I think that that, that that in itself is going to help you make decisions that are going to carry you through to succeed into 2021, regardless of what it brings. Great. Wow. Well, well you, you got the hook there for sure. But before we end, because we, because we're keeping these nice and short and sweet, so we just tease people into making sure that they capture your session. How do people get in touch with you if they want to learn more about you prior to do that? Um, so, so I'm heavily active on all the social channels. My Instagram is my name, Kaylee.Lindholm. Um, and also, if you want to hear a little bit more about my philosophy and, um, and what, you know, I'm all about and I teach, um, go to my podcast. It's The Fierce Factor. And I do a lot of tactical and inspirational um, uh, episodes in there every week. And you can really get to know uh, what I'm all about and, you know, what kind of things you can look forward to hearing from me at GVAS. Perfect. Well, I hope people will check you out beforehand, listen in on your sessions and learn. And thank you for spending time with us for this countdown, Kaylee. I have no doubt that you will bring a great value to all those listening to you as you always do. So we will see you at GVAC. Thanks, Alicia. Bye-bye.